and put it at the apostles' feet. Then Peter said, Ananias, how is it that Satan has filled your heart that you have lied to the Holy Spirit and have kept for yourself some of the money you received for the land? Didn't it belong to you before it was sold? And after it was sold, wasn't the money at your disposal? What made you think of doing such a thing? You have not lied just to human beings, but to God. When Ananias heard this, he fell down and died, and great fear seized all who heard what had happened. Then some young men came forward and wrapped his body and carried him out and buried him. About three hours later, his wife came in, not knowing what had happened. Peter asked her, Tell me, is this the price you and Ananias got for the land? Yes, she said, that is the price. Peter said to her, How could you conspire to test the spirit of the Lord? Listen, the feet of the men who buried your husband are at the door and they will carry you out also. At that moment, she fell down at his feet and died. Then the young men came in and finding her dead, carried her out and buried her beside her husband. Great fear seized the whole church and all who heard about these events. It says now, what was the most shocking thing to you about this story and why? One thing that stands out to me is how God deals with this situation quickly he does not allow it to stretch out for any uh, period of time the lie is found out and immediate action is taken sapphira comes in the lie is found out and immediate action is taken it also puts peter in a situation where he seems to be able to uh, foretell what will happen right again this giving the disciple here some divine attributes right so people would have been in fear and amazement and shock and all of that based on what had happened it says that fear was over the church this would have been a situation that was talked about for weeks if it were no it would be the the leading tweet for the day breaking news it would crash the internet so to speak right it would blow up social media this was something that would have made headline news okay so time for the punchlines now for the first one what is more he was chosen by the churches to accompany us as we carry the offering which we administer in order to honor the lord himself and show our eagerness to help we want to avoid any criticism of the way we administer this liberal gift, for we are taking pains to do what is right, not only in the eyes of the Lord, but also in the eyes of man. 2 Corinthians 8 verse 19 to 21. Next punchline. But if there are any poor Israelites in your towns, when you arrive in the land the Lord your God is giving you, do not be hard-hearted or tight-fisted toward them. Deuteronomy 15 verse 7 If you help the poor, you are lending to God and he will repay. Proverbs 19 verse 17 Don't love money. Be satisfied with what you have, for God has said, I will never fail you, I will never abandon you. Hebrews 13 verse 5 Jesus told him, If you want to be perfect, go and sell all your possessions and give the money to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. Matthew 19 verse 21 further insight says it is god who blesses men with property and he does this that they may be able to give towards the advancement of his cause